Hey guys, Scooty here. I hope you're having a great night or day wherever you are. So Vecna came out yesterday and I've been playing a lot of him on stream. He's probably the most fun I've had on a killer since launch since I want to say Wesker. Chucky doesn't really amount to as much as I thought it would be. But he feels great, but I want to keep the intro nice and sweet. So I'll go into my full thoughts after all the games. So you guys enjoy. Two distortion. Music and M1 for that. I love this killer, dude. Oh my god. Dude, this killer is so cool. Oh, like everything I just did there shown into like one one clip. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I know you're in basement. Snap. Nope. Yeah, that one's going on Twitter. Damn it, I did it too late. I really like that quad outfit. Insane. You know what, Mage Hand speed is fine. It should definitely stay like that. Oh, bro went second. That's unfortunate. Bonk this. Hello? Nice. Hold on. Oh, that was way too low. Oh, why don't you play Shaq? That's interesting. I was surprised by that. Just throw you one here, and then I fly away. Like, oh my god, this killer. Like, everything about uh, about them just feels so good. The bottom and right. Um, Enduring and lethal. Oh, I missed base stat. That's unfortunate. Nice. I just needed to spell you in case you have anything fucking stupid. Oh, you agreed. Interesting. Which these might be going on my builds more often because fucking hell. Damn, the tap fucked me up. Hit. Yeah, you have to use it like a Doctor Shock if you don't get the hit through. Because it forces them to crouch and stop moving. Exhaustion add-on? I usually hate exhaustion add-ons, but the thing about it being dispel magic feels so... Craig feels systematic. Ooh. Ooh. 
Point above. Yet. I'm going back to hug. No, are they not going? I thought they were going to be going for it. What the fuck? The execution of the add-on makes absolutely no sense. Yeah, usually. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm running. I have Mage Hand, so, uh... Shit. It was spaced. Like, that's where the spacing is very important when summoning the skeletons. Because if you don't, like, you just get fucked. Like, whatever. The six meters is mindful. I think when people actually start mastering the spacing, like what Pixel was saying, if you start mastering the spacing, like, it will be insane. It's like a Marth tipper. That is the most correct statement. Fuck, was that not? On her feet, it's a big ratio. Nice. Yo, bonk. Some double vault. I get M1. Unironically, good move on Vector. You just trying. I think, unironically, I think it's good. Yeah, see how it forces him to stop moving and where my slowdown doesn't matter in the long run? Yeah. Damn. Like, that's fucking crazy. Can't the pallet and dropped it on your head? If I was, if, if, um, I think I was close enough to where I could have interrupted, but. Gritty. Okay, Forgotten Ruins. Look at the toil though, I can't get a fix for it. Oh, well, that's not good. But I'm sure it'll be okay. That was rather quick, wasn't it? Oh. Brutality, because of months upon the extra 5% of haste can make you survivors for some cult, which is due chance to spawn the skellies and during hate and make you fast enough to have the correct spacing. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it kind of feels like a necessity at this point, I'll be honest. That is just me personally. Yeah, I think the more I play him, the more I just prefer the cooldown add-ons. Plus Sable. Good SP. Fuck! I did not want that. No! Getting injured. Nice. Spawning it inside of them. Nice. Can I just say I really like the aesthetic of this map? This is like one of the most aesthetically pleasing maps I think they've ever released. Oh, 
Yeah, Pearl of Power and then the other cooldown one I've been really liking. I'm cluttered to get stuff on. No! I kind of have to let him go if I want the bar. Unfortunate. I mean, isn't the top of the map supposed to be kind of dead, though? Isn't that, like, kind of the whole point? Because there's the whole downstairs? They build during the PTB and it's all the value by using Spiffle as well as Rapid as well as the green and yellow cooldown. That's like your cooldown rotation is fast as fuck. Oh. I mean, I feel like sometimes I have to go down into the dungeon. Like, it's not uncommon for me to go downstairs because I kind of have to. Oh, the skeletons! You have to have one so much for constant power use. I'm kind of fine with that. No, I'm gonna let you do that. What's up, Gothic? Where I rotate. Fuck, that could have been fire. Oh, he was right here, though. So who's not? Okay, hold on. Let me go over and find this, uh, Sable. Awesome hit take. Incredible. Poop. Yeah, the pink sword add-on is awful. What perk have you found that would be really fun on Vecna? Uh, Rapid. Rapid Lethal. Damn, that's unfortunate. Good cleanse. Alright, I slug for 4k. You try lethal for a lot on the next on attack ball? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just looking for 4k. I honestly just throw you on this hook to rotate over. Skeletons inside the survivor's foreheads. Too late of a crouch. I get that down. I'm gonna do something crazy. Fuck, I wish the other TP was closer. This was kind of a waste of time. If the other TP like was closer and you could like actually go underneath and do that shit, that would be insane. At least they're all off gens, so. Hmm. 
Why are you just taking the injure? Okay, I was trying to stop you from going in there. Nice. One. Two. Three. This one. Okay, you're outside. Pause to hit that girl on the ground rather than the sable. Yeah. She got picked up. There you go. GG. After playing him for quite a bit now, I honestly think Vecna's in a great spot. There's a few things I tweak about him, like nerfing Mage Hand a little bit because of the raise speed and making Potion a speed base kit, but... In all honesty, this is a killer I was really worried about on PTB, but I feel like he's great now. If you guys have any opinions or anything, just put it down in the comments and I'll be sure to check it out. But I hope you all have a great night or day, wherever you are. Bye-bye.